Tony Cardenas wants to ban greyhound racing nationwide. He is backed by two dubious organizations. He is also backed by the past president of HSUS, Wayne Pacelli, now running Animal Welfare Alliance. Wayne Pacelli was forced to resign from HSUS under sexual misconduct allegations, no surprise considering he hung out with another predator, Harvey Weinstein. Under Pacelli's watch, HSUS's charity rating was downgraded to a D. After a $50,000 donation to HSUS from the Philadelphia Eagles, he then said convicted dog killer Michael Vick would be an excellent dog owner. Under Pacelli's watch, HSUS was also fined $11 million under the RICO Act. Pacelli and HSUS paid a witness who worked for the circus to lie in court about animal abuse. He is also teamed with Gray 2K, another organization known to lie. They were exposed in Massachusetts for lying and defaming, and their claims of abuse and lies were rebuffed in both Florida and West Virginia. Economically viable. I mean, what's your response to that? They're, they're a, that, that, that's a phony fraud organization as far as I'm concerned. I don't have any respect for that organization. I, uh, I've met with them. I've talked to them in the past. Uh, they, they've been extremely disingenuous in some of the things they've reported. Uh. Against all evidence, Tony claims the dogs are abused, yet there is no track in California, he has never even visited a track, and he has no evidence to support his outrageous claim. Let's hear from legislators who have actually visited a track. But I saw no, no data, no statistics. Senator Weld said he left the kennel with a positive feeling about how the dogs are cared for. I mean, it, it was just very clear that these dogs have a life that's pretty darn good. But I, I'm very comfortable in advocating for this industry based upon how these dogs are treated. What do they say about the company you keep? Tony Cardenas is a D-rate politician backed by a D-rated fake nonprofit, a liar and sexual predator. He evidently thinks it's okay to pay witnesses to lie in court. We question the motives and the ethics of Mr. Cardenas in even proposing such nonsense in Congress. Join us at www.protectworkinganimals.org.